So I'm going to quickly go through just a, this lightweight haversack kit that I'm carrying today. Um, I think it's great to have a really tricked out, loaded out day pack, and I do. You've seen it in my other videos. But there are times that I just want to grab something quickly, hit the woods, and um, you know, just cook some lunch or just go for a hike or you know, nothing that's that takes a lot of gear. So. Um, I really like this bag uh, as an option. Um, if you're familiar with some of the posts that I do on Bushcraft USA, there is a thread on the finished gas mask bag that I started, and that is a huge thread with lots and lots of ideas of how people are using their finished gas mask bag. And I had one for years, used it quite a bit. Um, great bag, has some limitations. I don't care for the snaps on it and I don't care for the shoulder strap that much, but those are things that can be modified. Um, and then I found one of these bags and this is a Condor Molly, uh, I believe gadget bag is what it's called. And I'll, I'll put a, I'll tell you what it is here in the, in the video a little bit later on. Um, but this thing is, it's like under $20. Uh, it's what it is. It's patterned after a, a, a Molly Claymore bag that an Eagle Industries put out years ago. Um, so it has, you know, the Molly on the back, so it can attach to a bigger pack, like an assault pack. And then the front is a Molly panel, so you can add more pouches to it. Uh, Velcro strip for a name tape and a heavy-duty sewn-in handle, um, attachment points on the side for the shoulder strap. Now on mine, what I did is I put these D-rings on the back, right here. And the reason I did that is because when you use the shoulder strap on this side, it, it tends to be too low and the bag flops over. So by raising the, the center of gravity or the carry point with this shoulder strap by putting these in, it, um, it carries a lot better. So that would be a suggestion. Puts, you know, you can use a, a split key ring or uh, you know, some other kind of D-ring if you have it. And it just all it is is just it's threaded through there through that molly and uh, I've clipped on the shoulder strap and it works pretty well. Inside this bag um, there is a little bit of organization. It's not just an open uh, pocket. So as you can see, I can carry my full-size canteen kit in here. There are two back pouches along the back wall that easily fit my entire hand. There's one here, and there's one there. There are tie loops on the corners, so you can secure things, like I've attached my uh, fire steel lanyard to this, uh, whatever, other things, keys. And then the neat thing about this bag is, on the other side, the front side of it, there is a Velcro panel, or a flap, that opens up to this very large mesh pocket. And that runs the entire length and, and height of the bag. And it also has tie loops on the front of that. Now here, I've got my cordage kit. This is all the lines and cords and, that I need to stake out my poncho to make it into a tarp. I've got my bandana. There's my stove bag. We've got the, the wood stove going. This is uh, my little possible's pouch that I put together. This is, has my fire kit um, and uh, my fire steel and uh, let's see a space blanket and um, just a few other little odds and ends, just necessities that I need for the day. Of course, I got a first aid kit with tweezers uh, so I can remove ticks. Canteen. The uh, open L saw, which is a great little saw for day packs and haversacks. If you don't want to carry a full size Baco or, or a Silky, um, I suggest one of these. They're really lightweight, very nicely made, and they cut wood great. Especially for like wood, small wood stoves, it's great to have a little saw. Of course, we got the uh, the RB3 thrown in there. And then just my food pack that has soups and coffee and things like that that I carry. 
And then on the front, I've just got a carabiner on here with my gloves dangling in case I need to get to them. So, you know, here's a here's a haversack idea for under 20 bucks. Comes with a shoulder strap, has molly all over it. Um, has pockets in the interior that you can organize. It's big enough to hold a canteen. And now jeans going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tall, but it does work. So you could get away with a Nalgene and a cup. Um, but I prefer the canteen kits because they're shorter. And I, that's what I have, so that's what I use. Um, and it fits perfectly. So you don't always have to spend a ton of money on your gear. Uh, to have a nice little lightweight kit. So. All right, guys, I just want to show you how this thing carries on my side. So when you put the shoulder strap in the back, it hangs really nicely to the side. And because this is a, since the, this bag is wide, not tall, it kind of conforms to your hip a little bit better. All right, you can see everything all packed up. Everything has a place. It's all organized. Canteen fits great inside this bag. Back pocket, organizers. So everything kind of stays, has its place, like I said. I mean, everything I need for a day hike is in there. And it's a very lightweight, cheap alternative to more expensive haversacks use for it. And I customized this one, of course, a little bit. I added the shock cord in the bottom, like I said. Um, upgraded the zipper poles to 550 cord with some um, shrink tubing on the end, giving me something to grip onto because the zipper poles were really short that it came with. Um, also, one thing to note is that the shoulder strap that I have on here is not the stock shoulder strap. This came off of another Condor bag, but this has the built-in pad. So um, I swapped out the shoulder strap today. Uh, just to give it a little, um, make it a little bit more comfortable. But the stock shoulder strap that comes with this bag is just uh, just the webbing with no, sh no padding whatsoever. So, But since these clip off, it's not a big deal, right? You can always upgrade shoulder straps. You can buy pads. I mean, there's there's a, there's options out there. You don't have to, you're not stuck with what they provide. So if you're looking for a, a really nice, lightweight, cheap uh, haversack option, uh, this would be one to look at. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.